thank you for your patience and your perseverance with us. Uh, you'll recall the conversation or visit we had in my office not that long ago. And you will, I'm sure, recall that I quoted the first line in your concurrence in uh, the case of Gutierrez v. Brizuela. You remember that first line? Senator, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the first line. But uh, I, I, the, the, line, the line was, there's an elephant oh, in the room yes, with us today. Yes, yes. It's been cited before. Yes, today. yes. And do you recall what I said or who I said was the elephant in the room? I'm sorry, Senator, I, I, I don't. I apologize sincerely. I, I don't I'll refresh remember. your recollection. The initials are DJT. Okay. Donald Trump. Yep. Uh, he was the elephant in the room with us then. I think he's the elephant in the room with us now. And the reason is, as I said then, because of his attack on the judiciary. And make no mistake, I am not in any way attributing to you that attack, but uh, you are familiar with the fact that he referred to the Article III judge who ruled against him in the travel ban case as a, quote, so-called judge in one of his tweets. You recall? I do. Tweet? And uh, do you recall his second tweet when he referred to the court at, and said that they were to be, quote, given blame if an act of terrorism occur occurred because of striking down the travel ban. You recall that tweet? Yeah, yes, sir. And uh, during the campaign, a completely different federal judge, born in this country, he said could not rule fairly on his case because the judge was, quote, a Mexican. You recall that? I do. Uh, what do you think the president meant when he <clears throat> use the word so-called judge. Senator, I don't know what was in his mind. You'd have to ask him. How would you feel if he called you a so-called judge? Senator, I care deeply about the independence of the judiciary. I can't talk about specific cases or controversies that might come before me. And I can't get involved in politics. But I can say a couple of things about that. As you know, the first is judges have to be tough. We get called lots of names all over the place. We have to accept criticism with some humility. It makes us stronger and better. I take it from my teenage daughters. I take it from litigants. This process, there's been plenty of criticism, and that's fine. Thomas Jefferson didn't much like Marbury versus Madison. And he didn't mind saying so. Presidents have tried to pack the court. That's part of our constitutional history. We have a First Amendment. People can speak their mind. But Senator, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I did want to add one other point if, if I'm- if Please I'm do. Managed. But Senator, when you attack the integrity or honesty or independence, of a judge, their motives, as we sometimes hear. Senator, I know the men and women of the federal judiciary, a lot of them. I know how hard their job is, how much they often give up to do it, the difficult circumstances in which they do it. It's a lonely job, too. I'm not asking for any crocodile tears or anything like that. I'm just saying I know these people and I know how decent they are. And when anyone criticizes the honesty or integrity, the motives of a federal judge, well, I find that disheartening. I find that demoralizing because I know the truth. Anyone including the President of the United States? Anyone is anyone because no person is above the law, including the President of the United States. That's right, Senator. And isn't that reference by the President to a so-called judge, isn't his attack on the same judges who 
struck down that order as playing politics. Isn't that an attack on the judiciary, on its integrity? Senator, I can't come on, on specific cases, and I can't get involved in politics. I've said what I think I ethically may in this area. Well, maybe you can share with the president what that wise old judge told you. Maybe you can quote it to us again. I think you're going to hear from him yourself on Thursday. And I'm sure he won't mind to hesitate or in any way uh, have any question of fear about saying it to himself. But I'm happy to share it with you, too. The ultimate test of the rule of law is whether the government can lose in its own courts and accept the judgments of those courts. And in your view, uh, was the President of the United States showing proper respect when he attacked the courts in that way? Was he accepting the rule of law? Senator, I've gone as far as I can go ethically with the canons that restrict me about speaking on cases. I can't talk about specific cases, and I can't get involved in politics. Respectfully, I believe I've gone as far as I'm able to go.